Let's take a look at the issue of duplicate videos, specifically finding and eliminating duplicates that you don't want. Whether they're on a single hard drive or spread out over multiple, they can take a lot of disk space, so we might want to get rid of some of them. So I'm going to demonstrate this using Vido, our video organizer, player, and workflow assistant. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to launch Vido with a blank catalog, nothing in it. Uh, there's multiple ways to get videos into Vido, but I like drag and drop like I'm going to do here with my SSD. I'm just going to drop the whole drive in there, and you can see I can begin work right away as it's creating thumbnails. I want to also drop in my movies directory because this is where I want to eliminate duplicates. I know I've got some duplicates between these two, so I'm going to take my movies directory and drop it in there. Let's make this screen full screen, and uh, I'm going to click the Show Duplicates button at the bottom and then enable deep scan. So deep scan is an option, you can turn it on and off at, the, at any time. But for the purposes of finding duplicates, we want the deep scan to run through all the videos and that way it will find all the duplicates in our catalog. So I'm just gonna let it run. This could take some time. In, in this case, it's gonna take a little more than an hour. But for a very large video library, it could take much longer than that. Now you could continue to do work while that's, that's going on, that's fine. I like to just let it run overnight so that it's ready to go in the morning. So as I click back and forth here between the hide and show duplicates view, you can see that in the duplicates view there's a pair of videos and that indicates that this is a duplicate. One is on my movies directory, the other is on my SSD, and in my case I want to get rid of the ones that are on the movies directory. Okay, so now we want to mark the videos that we want to delete. One way to do that is using control click or right click and selecting the menu option that says select duplicates in this directory. That'll select all the duplicates that are in that same directory. And if I do that twice, I get the ones I want. I, I get all of them in this particular case. So I can check that with the filter view and make sure that I got what I wanted. But another way to do this is to make use of the fact that the filters still work in the duplicate view. So if I go over to the directory filter, I can just filter out the SSD by clicking the movies directory. And then I won't see pairs anymore, I'll just see a single duplicated video. So now I know that video is on that drive. Um, and if I go, go to the SSD, you see the same thing. I go back to the movies directory, and I'll do a command A, and then a, and I'll hit the X key, and then I will have my videos marked for deletion. And I'll use the pick status filter again to just verify that I have the videos selected that I do want to delete. And maybe for a triple check, I'll export the selected videos, the ones I have marked for deletion, to an external hard drive. So I'll wait for that to mount and then select a directory, say OK, and do the export. OK, now that I've marked the ones I want for deletion and I've actually even backed them up an additional time, I'm going to go ahead and delete them. So I go up to Catalog remove rejected and delete and I get this dialog that gives me a confirmation I have to type the word delete to make it happen and it gives me a list of all of the videos it's going to actually delete if I click OK there it will delete the duplicates and now no more duplicates in my library okay that's it well I hope you found that useful thank you for watching and please check out Vido at Vido.com